to our destination today. Uh, we just stopped at Hardee's and got some lunch and milkshakes. Doggies are taking a, a walking potty break out there. And I'm doing the painful thing, filling this big rig up at the pump. gauge goes is fascinating.
No, they're very happy because this is your spot. You gotta go up here. Mm -hmm. That's how it's coming out. Oh. oh, no, no, no. Oh, insane today. Missouri, the state park here. What's the state park name, honey? I can't remember. Wakuna or something like that. Wakanda or something. Wakanda. State park. Wow. Carly's playing ball already. And we're tucked back in here. It's pretty private, even though this place is so uh, packed this weekend for the holiday weekend, Labor Day. And uh, we'll be going to take a walk around a little bit. Uh, the humidity is low here. And we got a little bit of foliage cover. I'm about ready to raise our cellular antenna on the back ladder. Uh, so we have internet this evening. I do have uh, four to five bars on my T-Mobile cellular phone. So we should be good with the antenna up. We've been going for a while here, at least a half a mile down through here, probably about over a mile from our campsite. But well, we've come to the end of the trail. Is that a road over there? And there is a parking lot over those boulders there and some sort of lake access. And we came, oh shoot, probably about a mile from that way. So we're probably going to head back. We'll head back before the sun sets. I got my shirt on today. Okay, here. All right, we made it back. There's our campsite right here, number 70. Tucked back in here, nice and cozy. Oh, that was how many miles do you think, honey? I don't know. Oh, Pixie needs some cold air and some ice water. Well, we made it here. We made it here late yesterday evening at uh, the Minnesota State Park. This is uh, Meyer Big Island, Minnesota State Park. And it's actually kind of like you're on a, an own, your own camping island with a bunch of campsites on this one big island. And it's pretty unique here. It's real uh, thick and forced in the middle of the island as you look back behind me here. I had a good night's sleep and uh, I slept in today because uh, all that driving, you know, driving, 
stop and sleep, driving, stop and sleep, driving, stop and sleep. Now we've got one whole day to rest here. So I booked two nights and my mistake, I, I kind of felt like booking two nights, I was gonna get two days. But now looking back at it, of course, you know, we arrived last night, we got to stay, we got the whole day today, and then we get to sleep tonight here. But then we wake up and we gotta roll, get on the road tomorrow morning. So, and that's exactly what we gotta do at our next campsite stop. That's in Red River, Minnesota State Park. And that's gonna be a lot cooler. It's supposed to be uh, upper 60s, to low 70s there when we get there tomorrow and the next day. So I'm looking forward to that. That's the cooler weather we've been looking for. Right here, it's about low 80s. It's not too bad because no Florida humidity, you know, followed us. So uh, it's really nice out here today, just kind of sitting out here. Uh, but there's one uh, other thing I want to share with you that I've been using along my trip. I actually purchased these a week before we came. And this is a new uh, kind of product that I've never heard about. Kind of like when I told you guys about the neck band speaker where you don't have the uh, earbuds in your ear. And a couple years ago, I got the Google Pixel Buds. Uh, they've been working just fine. But sometimes, you know, your ear gets tired, your ear canal. And I looked up these and I found these on the internet and I said, hey, what are these all about? They're open ear buds. So they're open ear designed. I'm gonna show you. <clears throat> these are by FAMU C11, true wireless earbuds but they're not actually buds. They just kind of wrap around the back of your ear. Let me show you. They come in a charging case, so they got lots of charges. This is the charging case. Now, the charging case is kind of big. I do still keep it in my pocket, which is nice. And it's got a little indicator on the bottom there. <clears throat> and here they are. Tells you the charge indication inside the charger right there, 92% right when you open it does, right there. And see how they open, they go, they go around your back of your ear. Whoops. But notice they don't go protrude into your ear canal. It's just kind of like a speaker that sits on top of your ear canal. Real comfortable fit. After you wear these for about half hour, 45 minutes, you forget that they're on. I've gone and left the house on an errand and stuff and stopped watching a YouTube video or something on the laptop and reach up and realize, hey, I didn't put my earbuds back in the case. They're still on me, but they still look stylish. Really stylish and it delivers great quality sound. So those of you that didn't know, there's another option besides the invasive earbuds. I thought you might find this valuable information. I know I'm praising it now. I love it. Uh, nobody can really hear, actually nobody can hear if they're about a foot or two away and you have these blasting. So I'll leave the link in the video description below. And guys, I'm probably going to sign off here. We're going to take the dogs out after Cheryl gets done working this evening. She's working just this week on our trip and uh, she'll be off the rest of it. But coming back down, I believe we're going to be stopping and staying like two full days at least at each of these stops. Just it'll make it a little bit more pleasurable. So uh, I'll see you on the next video. I hope you join us as we go to the Red River State Campground at Grand Forks, and then also follow us on that video, the next video going across the Canadian border. Once again, I'll try to get good footage for you this time. See you on the next one.